Why? Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am on the couch with the two stinky turkeys, and uh, first thing I want to say mm. is uh, <laughs> is happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Uh. Um. So yeah. As all of you know, with the whole situation going on out there, it's been a weird year this year. And um, Thanksgiving was especially weird. Uh, for the first time ever since I've been alive, I did not go to Thanksgiving dinner with my family, with my mom, my dad, my brother, um, because me and Funk believe we were exposed to the thingy and we're doing our part in self-quarantining. So. That meant no going to the store and just eating what we got at home. We had something on Thanksgiving, but uh, my parents insisted because they cook a big old meal every year. There's tons of stuff. They insisted that they get us some of that home cooking. So I drove an hour and they drove an hour to meet in the middle and we did a no contact drop off where they put together some bags of food and they just put it in the back of my pickup and I just waved at them from the car <laughs> and said thanks. And uh, they just dropped it in the back of my truck and I drove home. And they made one for me, one for uh, Funk, and one for Funk's mom. And I drove to Funk's mom's house and she just went and accessed it out of the back of the truck. So it was, <laughs> it was like a safe Thanksgiving delivery food. They uh, had a whole plate of stuff. They had... Uh, mashed potatoes, corn, Brussels sprouts, I think there was a bean casserole, stuffing, my dad's homemade stuffing, um, turkey, uh, we had gravy, key lime pie, there's some pumpkin pie, which we gave Funk's mom like half of them, and uh, yeah, and don't worry, the boys got their fair share, made them up a nice little Thanksgiving bowl as they always get. You want a treat? Gobble, gobble. Rukus. 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 He's not waiting, Monty. All right, go ahead, Monty. How dare you, Rukus? Did you get yours? Yeah, and then I uh, yeah, they ate that up. And they like that. They like that a lot. Did you bring me your toy, Rukus? Did you bring me your toy? Oh, yes, you did. Oh, you did bring me your toy, didn't you? Didn't you? So yeah, I want to thank them for that. Um, that was delicious. I ate it all. Uh, we usually, when we go to a family Thanksgiving, we take home what's called a slot bucket. We take an old gallon ice cream pail and just pile it full of stuff because my parents like to make tons extra. And we always take, me and my brother call a slot bucket, which it's totally delicious, but we're little piggies. So we take home our little slot buckets. <laughs> but I got it on a plate this year. Um, and yes, I'm wearing PJs. I'm just getting comfortable in my own house on the Sunday. Why not? I don't need to be wearing jeans. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> um, so other than that, little Monty update. Um, I didn't do anything crazy this week, as you know, because of the last video I posted. Monty has been limping. He's got Lyme disease, but he seems to be doing very well. He's, it's, it's hard to say if Monty's ever sick or anything because when he's in the house, he's always just a lazy potato. He just lays on various things, he'll lay on camping gear, he just lays in different spots. He'll, he's got he's got like 100 different spots he just likes to lay. And uh, he always looks like a dead animal. He's got his tongue hanging out of his mouth. Dear God, sir, close your mouth. And so it's, it's, it's hard to tell if he's, you know, sick or anything because he just acts like that all the time. You're always like, huh? Yeah, I always call, we always say he's dead dog in it because he looks like a dead animal just laying there. But uh, he went on his first off-leash walk and didn't limp afterward, so that's a good sign. That means we're getting back out there soon. Um, I still didn't let him go crazy and attack and rugs. Um, I had to make sure he didn't do that because I didn't want him bouncing, but he's walking around and jogging around, so he seems to be doing well. It did take longer than um, everyone was saying it would. Like, I look it online and asking the vet. It took him about a week to actually start getting uh, better from it, but he's doing well. He's doing it. He's just a Monty. And we'll be getting out there camping soon, huh? Are we going camping soon? 
Don't shoot that guy. I'm going to go, 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 go. Okay, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so other than that, um, this is definitely a weird year for snow. AKA, there's barely any out there. So that's, that's different. Uh, last few years, for a long time now, we've had plenty of snow by December. And I'm just hoping there's at least snow for Christmas. Otherwise, it'll be a weird one. Right, Monty? You got such a slender, long face, Monty. Ruger, come here. What are you doing? I'm not playing with the toy right now. We got, we got things. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of packages to unbox that were sent to me by subscribers. So if you sent me a letter, thank you very much. I read all the letters. I appreciate them and I enjoy them. Um, if you have any questions, a couple of you asked questions and just re-ask the question down in the comment section because eventually I get to all the comments and it's easier for me to answer them there because I, the comments are something I'm always, I'm always going through. Um, so definitely just re-ask some of those questions because there was, there was definitely a couple of questions and I haven't done a question and answer yet and I have my own reason. It's mostly because I'm strange, but one day maybe we'll get one. <laughs> so I don't like to answer questions on camera. I'll do it down in the comments. That's where I do it. Right, Monty? You're strange. I'm strange. He's strange. Very strange. Okay, okay, okay. See? You're still weird, Lucas. Oh, yeah, you like that butt rub? Like that butt rub? Just come on up. Come on up. Say hello. Say hello. Stay a while. That's better. That's a spirit. Okay, so is there anything else? Yeah, like I said, I wanted to do a hike and cook with Monty for Thanksgiving and do you know the, the Thanksgiving thing, but uh, he was limping and I didn't want to take him out with Rugs running, racing around while I'm trying to focus on cooking and he can injure himself. I don't know. We're taking it easy. He's gonna he's gonna be better. He's gonna be worked up. We're gonna get back out there. It's just we got a lazy little time. And besides that, because we're self quarantining, I'm not going to any grocery stores. And I'm just we're just we're just being responsible, doing our part. We don't want to spread anything. We don't think we're we got it, but you never know. We're just being safe. Okay, okay. Anyways, I've got some packages that have been sent to me, and uh, it's been there's some that have been here for a little while. And yeah, let's open up some packages and do some unboxing. Right, boys? Okay, as always, we are gonna start with the Amazon packages first. What do we got here, boys? Okay, you always get interested. They think they're all for them. Okay. What do we got in letter here? Oh, Rubes, that's... Thought you you might could use this. If not your favorite band, let us know. YouTube fans need to know, don't you know? From Wayne. We have got, oh yeah, Montreal steak seasoning. <laughs> Big old jug of it. This, just so you know, uh, Wayne, this is the exact one that I always use. Grill Maid's Montreal Steak Seasoning. Can never get enough of it. It's all going to get used eventually because this is the only spice I ever use for pretty much anything meat related. And I eat a lot of meat. So, thank you very much Wayne. <laughs> okay, we've got another Amazon package. Oh, this one's difficult. Rugus, what are you, what are you doing Rugus? So if any of you are wondering, his name is actually Ruger, but sometimes we call him Rugus more than Ruger. We, we're like, Rugus, Rugus. Right, what do we got here? Have it all. Ooh. What do we got here? Well, so we gotta look for the letter first. And there's no, there's no message. So it looks like we've got some white tees and uh, they're at large tall, which is my size because I have a weird long torso. 
What do we got here? Have it tall men's fashion fit t-shirt white large tall. Ooh. <laughs> for those of you that have watched the channel for a while, you know I used to only wear white tees. Only. Exclusively. And I'd go on week-long adventures with a dirty and a white tee and same t-shirt the whole week. It looked pretty nasty by the end. But lately I've been wearing, you know, this shirt. Um, we've got some other colored shirts. I've, I've switched to just Hanes white tees to Hanes blank multicolored tees. I just kind of use them all. I haven't worn a lot of white tees lately. It's because I spill too much food on myself. But anyways, let's try one of these on. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. It, it covers my whole dang torso. It's not just sitting up here like a belly shirt. Wonderful. Awesome. <laughs> I can, Even on my uh, Teespring store where I get the shirts and stuff, you can't get large tall. Which sucks because after I wash them a few times, they're just like belly shirts but anyways whoever sent these thank you very much i'm not going to try this one it looks like another one but this is a nice comfy thick white t-shirt and all i'm saying is it's not my fault if i spill some of this coffee on here it's it's just it's bound to happen <laughs> so yeah thank you very much once again for the shirts whoever sent them let me don't know down in the comments because there was definitely no letter in there. And sometimes I've noticed that some of these, it'll uh, be one message in one of the boxes and you'll have multiple packages because they ship it out differently. But we've got another Amazon package. Rookus. Rookus Tugus bought for Tugus. Come here. Would you like to come here, Rookus Tugus? Rookus Tugus, would you like to up up on the couch? Rookus, up on the couch. A Reese? Alright. Ooh. Ooh. We have got a no letter or message um, fishing rod here. A reel. Awesome. We've got a Shimano Quick Fire 2. One stop, one handed. Oh, it must have the quick trigger. Oh yeah, it looks like it's got the little, the, the correct way to, to cast an open face reel is you open the bail and the other hand you hold the line and you two hand, that's the correct way. A lot of people like to do this one handed stuff, mm -mm -mm. The, the, pose of, the pose of cast the correct way. <laughs> oh, I think I know who sent this, I think it was Tim. Maybe you'll have a message in one of these other boxes and I think I got another package from you. But if it wasn't you. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, but I'm pretty sure it was you, Tim. I think I remembered it in the comments. Yeah, so definitely definitely give that a try. We'll, uh, we'll see if I, I use the little quick fire versus the, the, uh, the pose of cast. The correct way to fish. <laughs> All right, we've got another Amazon package. Okay. Oh, okay, boys, we got some stuff for here. Okay, here we go. Happy winter camping is coming soon day. Toot. I look forward to all your upcoming winter adventures. Appreciate the content you put up with the fans. Hopefully you see this message. Big fat no. Okay. Yep, I definitely remember you down in the comments. You definitely sent a few things to the channel here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we've got some more Montreal. Never get enough. Huh? Huh? We looks like we've got some stuff for the boys here. Uh-oh. And we've got the Mr. Twister 3-inch mini tail whites, which the white ones here, these are the exact ones that I use all the time. You see me casting with these time and time again. Can never get enough of these. I got lots of these. And I'm going to lose a lot. I'm going to use a lot. And we've got the green to try. And I've tried messing around with colors before. But uh, I always go back to the white, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll keep trying them. Why not? Awesome. And then we've got some stuff for the boys. Oh, yeah. Oh, boys. Oh, boys. They've got some Elkhorn Premium Chews 100% Natural Elkhorn. Now, these are not cheap. Getting uh, antlers for your dogs chew on. It's never cheap. 
So thank you very much. Now Ruger is a bigger fan of the chewing. Monty, Monty likes flavor. We'll see. I could be wrong. Monty still likes chewing them, but up, up, Rugs. Up, up. Sit. Lay down. Monty. Ruger. Go ahead, Monty. Go ahead. Go ahead, Monty. <laughs> there they go. Now, that's what happens. Now they're not. They're not in the rest of the video. What we're going to do is we're going to let them chew on them for a minute here and I'm going to take them away and then after the video they'll get them back and they can go outside and chew the rest of the day. But there's one more thing here. Ooh. We've got some what looks to be MXNX sunglasses. Oh jeez. What is that? Monty, what is it, not good enough? Ooh. Oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Oh, they're the right color. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, got the baby blue sunglasses, awesome. This seems like a little bit higher quality than the ones I normally get. The, normal, the ones I normally get are destroyed very fast. What is this? Oh, these ones are definitely polarized. It's got a little test thing in here. Shows a, oh, it shows a fisherman with a pole and you can only see the fish on the line if you got the sunglasses on. So these are definitely polarized. Sweet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put these away and keep these safe. These definitely seem like a little nicer sunglasses than the ones I use, so awesome. We will definitely be bringing these out and trying these fishing. So thank you very much once again, Big Fat No. Okay, now we've got some other things to open that are not from Amazon. We've got a package from John. Let's see what we got here. I'm just gonna open it like that. That's a letter. Oh, there's a letter in here. Mm. What is this? We've got a letter. Hey, Matt. Okay, so John here said he sent me a legit compact pudgy pie maker. He said pie, but but it's a pudgy pie maker. We all know this. <laughs> uh, yeah. So Ruger, hey. Do it, get up here. So, it looks like this one's made to be compact because the other ones I had, you know, it's got the big arms and they're cast iron. So, let's check this out. Oh yeah, hey. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It's got teeny little... There we go. Nice. It's the perfect size for me to burn my hands on the fire. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And it's light. It's not intense cast iron. So thank you very much, John. Oh, Monty. You guys, there's no pudgy pie in it. There's, there's nothing in it right now, okay? It's just metal. Monty, it's just metal. This one is from Gorilla. Oh, what do we got here? We've got a letter. A letter. Matthew. Okay, so Jessica and Renette have sent me an anti-fog lens cover because of my, uh, in the hot tent. So we've got here, okay, this one is the, the plastic rain cover for the camera. So the reason sometimes these are difficult to use is because my camera has a screen that flips out and I need to see, so these kind of make it sometimes hard to see. And I tried on my recent video, uh, The Rain with Ruger, I tried a, an umbrella that someone sent me that attaches to the tripod 
and it didn't position perfectly well and if you watch the video the first like 10 minutes you can barely hear me because the, the umbrella is like that close to the the microphone on top of my camera and it was just drowned out so this might work and also the other thing is my camera has a big old mic sitting on top so it's hard to use a cover like this because it'll block the sound and how I record and if I can maybe cut a hole through it or something and just have a little protection and maybe let my screen stick out or something like that, it, it might work. Okay, so thank you very much for that. And then what do we got here? Lens heater. Ooh. What is this? So, you'll notice in some of those hot tent videos, like when I go in the storms and stuff, my camera lens fogs up because there's moisture in it and it's like cold going into hot and it needs to get dried out and heated up in order to be not foggy and it's on the inside that's where it gets weird. So this right here, it wraps around Velcros and you attach it to a thing and it heats up. So, sweet, yeah, that could definitely get it unfogged. I'll bring out a power bank. I'll give it a shot. We'll see if it works. It should. As long as it turns on and heats up, it'll definitely work. So sweet. Yeah. Thank you very much, guys. Okay. We have got another package from Jason. Jason. We got a package from Jason. We have got a letter here. Oh. Okay. We have got a letter. This is just something I get a kick out of and you might like it. Okay. So, he said he's got a ton of extra of hot hands. Now, I do usually keep these with me just in case it's like an emergency. I'll throw these in my winter pack, but I never have used these while winter camping once. But when I do use these are when me and Funk do deer camp like we did recently and we were very successful. And uh, I'll put, now when, I, when I'm sitting in my blind, I, uh, I take my winter bag and I wrap it over a chair and I stuck, stick my legs in it and I zip it up because it usually gets cold in the past couple years it's been like the teens. And when I go camping, you're moving around, you don't get cold. I just need a few layers and I just keep moving doing this and then I have a ripping hot fire. But when you're sitting in a blind for 12 hours, sitting perfectly still you can have tons of layers on you get a slight wind you're going to get cold so jake likes to call me the caterpillar because i'm all zipped up i just got my top half <laughs> sticking out but i'll take some uh, hot hands and i'll put them in in my little jacket pockets and uh a couple down by my feet and i just stay toasty just sitting there all day just i don't like to be i don't like to have a chill and sit there perfectly still all day we like to we like to be toasty so these will definitely get used. We go through a lot of these each year. So yeah, thank you very much. And then we've got something, what is this? I don't know if this was just used to pack. I'm just gonna assume that was used for packaging. So what do we got here? Green Vivid. Classic fashionable. What's what? You, what is this? Oh, a lighter. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hey. It is a waterproof lighter. Huh. Whoa. Well, that's interesting. That's a crazy looking flame. What is this, rechargeable? Oh, it's got a light on it. Well, that sounds crazy. The dogs do not like that. Monty. Here, Rooks. Okay, okay, okay. It, it makes a high-pitched 
I don't. I can barely hear it, but they can definitely hear it. It's almost like it sounds like a dog whistle. It's got them going crazy. I'll do it one more time. Okay, he doesn't like it. He did. Okay, stop. Stop, 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 stop. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Come here. It's okay. I'll stop. I'll stop. I won't do it again. He, he didn't like it. It makes like... Rooks. Rooks. Rooks, rooks, rooks. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, Rooks, I gotta, I gotta. <laughs> okay, everybody, come to the guys it's fine okay Ru, see it it's fine it's fine it's fine okay all right all right okay lay down Monty come back up come on come on Monty come on Monty you can do it oh you stole Ruger's side all right lay it down there's stuff on the bottom of this oh okay whoa all right we've also got a fire steel a little fire steel and a scraper. And then we've got a USB charger, which I'm assuming is for this. Where? Oh, don't, Monty, don't leave me. You stop, okay. Or right, it is rechargeable. Sweet. Okay, I'll definitely be throwing that in my little emergency. Monty, stop looking at me. I put on lotion. I got out of the shower and I, you know, I got psoriasis, obviously. It's all over. It ain't going anywhere. That's what these patches are. But I, I coat it in lotion. That's the only thing I do for it. And this guy just creepily licks the lotion because he just likes lotion. Anyways, yeah, I'll definitely put this in. Oh, Ruger can hear that from way over there. I'll definitely put this in my little emergency box. What else do we got? What is this? Oh, that's a that's an emergency whistle. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'll definitely throw that in my little uh, emergency box there. Yeah, you can see it's like a little X. That's crazy. So yeah, you'll note that I uh, I wonder how long it lasts, uh, the charge. That'll be interesting. I'll have to I'll have to look it up. It didn't seem like there was a direct... Monty, stop. Would you stop trying to lick the lotion off my arms? You little creepy creature. Stop it. Um, I'll have to look up and see how long it lasts. But uh, yeah, as you know, I do bring lighters and I always bring a fire still. When I go winter camping, I stick to a fire still. I don't ever really use lighters and I, I usually have one with me. Uh, but when I go canoe camping, I'm always using lighters just because it's quick and convenient and easy. Um, you know, you're paddling all day and stuff. So I usually don't mess around with uh, fire steel. But I don't have any waterproof ones. I usually put them in baggies and stick them all over, but a waterproof one will be nice. So thank you very much once again, Jason. Okay, we have got Another Amazon package. Just kidding, it's not Amazon. I don't know why I said that. All right, we've got a package from unknown, no return address. Let's see if there's a letter. Oh, I do not see a letter, but I see something that's in here. Oh, there's a letter. Letter first. Letter first, boys. Everybody simmered. Nice. Sorry about the choice of paper. Thought I had a note. Back road birder. So he sent me a, sh a shirt and he says they didn't have large tall and he designed it. And he said maybe it's a, s a sleep shirt for funk if it doesn't fit. Well, let's see. So first and foremost, we've got these uh, cutting boards. These, uh, Flexible cutting boards. These are the ones. Um, they're they're the new version of the ones that I used to get. They were a lot thicker, but I've actually uh, out in the woods switched to a hard little thick white one. But I use these exact cutting boards in the house for meat because I don't like to use my wood cutting boards. I use those just for veggies and everything else. And meat, we stick to these. Um, I can't remember what they're called. They're Finfordella. 
the Ikea ones, but we used to get the Ikea draw, but this is what we get now just for meat. So awesome. Yeah, these will get used. Thank you. And then we've got a shirt. <laughs> I'm going to put it on. We'll see if it fits. Oh yeah, it fits. See it right now? It fits perfectly, but if I wash it and dry it poorly, it'll get up. But it's, <laughs> it says five, four, three, two, one, Bishop. <laughs> That's what it says. Got an eagle carrying a fish, and it says MP Adventures, Matthew Poe's Adventures. See. All right, well, thank you very much for the shirt and the cutting boards, Garrett. We've got a package from L. I never say last names. And I don't say addresses, so L. L's what's there. It's wrapped in bags. Limba. Box from Limba, it looks like a, a Retaped up bark box. Boys, this one could be for you, boys. I did not see any letter in there yet, but I'm sure there's one inside here. Oh, geez. Oh. <laughs> you wrote a custom message that says, Welcome to Birch Bark Box. <laughs> it's got a custom drawing on cardboard. Dang, who's the lucky prairie dog? The birch bark box. Burger, I see you. You smell it. Okay, let's see if there's a letter in here. We've got some. We've got some big chunks of birch bark. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. There's a lot of birch bark in here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <I'm not laughs> we'll definitely use this for a fire out back. We got a fire pit outside. Let's see if there's a letter in here. Oh, they're, they're oh, it's see, okay, you just made comics. <laughs> Birch bark box. <laughs> I can't pull this out right here. This is gonna, this is gonna make a mess. Let's see if there's a letter in this. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> this is not a good one for inside the house. I should take this one outside. There's just tons of this thing packed full of birch bark. And what's funny is this will definitely get used. So all this birch bark, it's good stuff. It's better than gold. So we've got a whole thing full of birch bark. This is thinner birch bark. We've got the thick birch bark here, and then we've got a whole pack full of thin birch bark. So we got a full birch bark box. We've got a letter here. Thinking of you. says you can never have too much birch bark love mom gotcha <laughs> is this from you mom <laughs> oh good one oh <laughs> oh I got a package from my mom well thanks mom <laughs> My mom sent me a whole bunch of birch bark. What was the name you used? I need to see this again. Limba, Limba Birch. Leaf Avenue. From West Branch. Ah. Uh huh. I get it now. It all comes together. <laughs> Good one, mom. All right. Thanks, mom. For the birch bark. I almost made a mess here. <laughs> okay, we've got another package here. 
This one is from Jeff. Yeah, my parents like to watch these, so they're, my mom and dad going to get a kick out of that one. What do we got here? Hey, Matthew. Just wanted to send you a I don't know if that's your YouTube name or whatever on the what whatnot on the bottom. I'm not gonna say the last part just in case for your identity purposes. But Jeff, thank you very much. So he says that he hopes I can use these, which are Backpackers Pantry. Oh yeah, I can use these. I use these. I don't always use these, but I did a lot of trips this year um, where I just did. I was doing back-to-back -back adventures. And I didn't have like the most time to prepare a ton of spaghetti. So I used some meals in between. And so these are nice. I usually use the uh, Mountain House, but these are the Backpackers Pantries. And this one right here is Hot Apple Oats and Quinoa Cereal. Ooh, okay. And these are not cheap, by the way. Dark Chocolate Cheesecake. Now I love, I love the desserts of these Backpackers. It's like pudding, it's super good. Mango sticky rice. This one I actually had with Lucas when we went out. It was pretty, it was decently tasty. All right. We got mashed potatoes and gravy with beef. Pad Thai. Ooh. Ooh. Have not had that one before. We got a Pad Thai. Oh yeah. Louisiana red beans and rice. I've had this one before. Three cheese mac and cheese. Oh yeah. Lasagna. Katmandu curry. Ooh. Stroganoff sauce, stroganoff sauce, egg noodles, beef and mushrooms. Wow. Sweet and sour rice and chicken and pad thai with chicken. Holy crap. Well, Thank you very much, Jeff. Uh, these will definitely get used. Um, these are not cheap. These are definitely not cheap at all. So yeah, these are gonna go, and I'll definitely, I don't use them all at once. Like I'll bring like one or two on a trip because it's nice to have like, I love my spaghetti, don't get me wrong. I can eat it for seven days straight with fish in there, but it's nice to have a little change of pace mixed in the middle. So like a Katmandu curry, just just something a little, little a little out there, a little, a little different. So yeah, this this was not cheap. So thank you very much once again, Jeff. Uh, sweet. I'm definitely excited to try some of these next season canoe camping, which is a little bit of a, we just got done with canoe camping. So it'll be waiting, but we'll get back to it. Awesome. That is a lot of those. Okay, and we've got one final package from Timothy. This one is hefty. Don't worry boys, you're gonna get your bones again soon. Burger's just lurking. Monty's just debating life right now. I just don't know if it's worth hanging around you anymore. You just uh, I'm sitting next to you, trying to look as cute as possible, and I'm not getting paid for it. What's the point? What's the dang point? Okay, whoa. What do we got here? This one is packed full of stuff. Holy crap. Whoa. To it there's a lot in here we're gonna have to dump it out to find a letter here there's a lot of stuff that I can see watch out Rooks get back okay is there a letter I do not see a letter I definitely know you messaged me. I, I think this is, the, this is the same person that sent uh, the fishing reel. There's no letter in here, from what I can see. No letter. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a bunch of various watches. 
a lot of watches. Now the one I use right now is currently a Casio Pro Trek. Whoa. Looks like we've got a this one's got a compass and a thermometer. Nice. These are some intense looking watches. We got some, we've got a whole bunch of watches here. <laughs> Sweet. This one I love. Now the one I use now that it's it's something that like it's hard to go back on using any other watch. Uh, Funk got it for me for a birthday gift a while back, and uh, it's a it's a watch with a compass, and having a compass on your wrist, just being able to click and just know which way you're going, like that is like outdoors life changing for me. You got a bunch of different watches. Now when I did do go camping with my my brother or Lucas, I I definitely borrow out. I definitely borrowed out. I only had one other watch. But I, it, I think it's important to know the time, especially when you're with other people. So I'll definitely be borrowing out some of these watches when I go camping and stuff. So cool. Definitely a bunch of different watches to choose from. I'll have to look up what kinds are there. And there's definitely some manuals included. Then we've got some more fashionable watches. There's one right there. We've got... Nice looking, this this looks more like a businessman's watch right here. Like a fancy watch. Put that one on right there. Try to look. What do you think about that, Monty? Should we go out in the woods with this one? <laughs> okay, I think that's it for the watches. And then we've got, what's this here? Oh, we've got a multi-tool. Oh, a Leatherman. Awesome. These are nice to have. There we go, that's a nice Leatherman. These are a nice multi-tool. This is not cheap here. I don't, I don't, there's no letter, so I don't know if these are watches you tried and you didn't like, or these are just watches you had laying around. Or you just wanted to send me all these watches. Awesome, so we've got a the Leatherman. I always like to carry one of these with me, and I bring. I usually bring a small one out camping, but I like to definitely have one of those. And this looks like a. We got a pen here. It's a pen with a. It looks like a glass breaker pen. Okay. And then we've got a little. Little light, little pen light. And then we've got a measuring, a pen with a measuring device. What is this? There we go. Huh, it's got a level on it. It's a measuring pen with a level. Okay. And then we've got some waterproof matches. Nice, I usually carry a pack of these. I have never used them yet, but I always carry them. And then we've got a big old knife. Master USA. There we go, a nice little pocket knife. And then we've got Mace pepper spray. Now I know I like to test things out on the channel here, so I guess we'll just see how this stuff works and I'll get Funk and she can just spray me with this and see if it works. Yeah, it's not happening. Now when I do go out camping like out west with uh, Jake and Dan, we were having bear spray, which is, I think is a little bit more intense version of pepper spray. But you definitely, when, when there's grizzlies around and stuff, when I normally go camping, there's no grizzlies. I, I don't worry too much about black bears. Um, but grizzlies, I worry a little bit more, so we were always carrying bear spray. So sweet, we got some, we got some mace. And then we've got a 72 hour survival food kit, delicious meals. Eight servings of cinnamon sugar oatmeal, classic potato soup, and chicken a la king. Awesome. Yeah, I definitely carry a little survival kit in my truck, so this will definitely fit in there nice and perfect. Sweet. And then it's got... Okay, these are little heaters for the food. So you don't need a fire, you just use these. I've used these before with Jake. He gave me an MRE, and they have a little thing that just like heats up your food. It's like a chemical reaction, just heats it. So that probably goes with this. Awesome. 
This looks like okay. This is this is that waterproof frog talk stuff, I think. Or wait, is this? Okay, yeah, it's like a poncho. Monty, it matches yours. <laughs> there we go. Now when I go out, I usually wear rain gear, but I, I like to keep a poncho in the truck. So we'll see how this says. Oh, the smell, it smells fresh and new. It's got that dry <clears throat> smell to it. It's a weird, I, I don't even know how to explain it. You'd know it if you smell it, but it's like dry. Oh. This needs to air out. Whew. It's like that. I don't even know what this what the smell is. I can't explain it. It's like a new plastic smell, almost like a new car, but it's like it's taking my breath away. And then we've got some protein bars, pure protein. Chocolate peanut butter nut protein bars. Sweet. And then we've also got a Yay May watch. Whoa. What do we got? What is this? This seems like a smartwatch. Yame smartwatch. Huh. No. Interesting. I have not used, I have not been on the smartwatch train. But now I might have to start. Hmm. No. Awesome. Oh, it's, he's got on here, maybe Funk would like this. I will definitely ask her. Sleep monitor, heart rate monitor, step pedometer. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, that was a lot of useful, that was a lot of stuff there. Um, I'll definitely be checking this out. Um, right now, I don't think it's charged up. It's going to need to charge, but that's a sweet little watch. I'll, I'll try it out. Um, she's She's got an eye watch, I think. Funk's got an eye watch, and I don't have one, so I'll definitely try this out. So... I'm just gonna check one more time for a letter because I feel like with all this stuff in here, you gotta have a letter somewhere. I mean, there's just, there's just gotta be a letter. Okie dokes. Well, thank you very much for all this stuff again. Um, yeah, that's, I'm definitely excited to try this out. I wanna check out a few of these watches here. Um, this'll be a nice fancy if I go to a wedding watch, you know? And then, you know, the pepper spray. In case Monty gets too unruly with his, with his begging. Right, Monty? Yeah, so thank you very much once again, Timothy. And I'm definitely excited to try out that fish and reel. See if I can, I don't know if I'll give up the pose cast. I don't know if I could ever give it up, but I'll definitely try it. I'll try the quick fire. And then we've got Monty just, he likes his ear rubs. Oh. Whoa, Roos. So yeah, Timothy, uh, send me a message on Instagram or down in the comments. I'm curious about some of this stuff because there's no letter, no contrast. So yeah, just send me a message somewhere so I can uh, ask you a couple questions. And then... Um, yeah, so thanks again for once for all the stuff, guys. And I think that's going to wrap this one up. Give these boys their antlers back. Here you go. Here you go, Rooks. Come on, T. There's your treat. Go ahead. There you go. Be careful. So that's it. So I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. I don't know why I'm doing this.